Say hello, everybody. It's Vitaly over here, OG Gamer, home of Red Bond Productions and Firestorm Records, and I am back. It is December 31st, the last day of 2020, so we have survived the year so far. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and make this video today because today is my birthday, and uh, I, th this is a... I have problems making these kind of videos because there's there's a ton of videos out there that cover some of this, uh, but they they must, I'm not here. Uh, basically, I I don't make a lot of how-to videos. That's so that's not what I'm about. Uh, but we do have some cool stuff coming in January, uh, so I thought we might talk a little bit about what we have coming for 2021. Now, I've had these for a while and have never got around to doing anything with them because COVID-19 shut us down. So, uh, we're going to do a, an unboxing and I'm going to tell you some things that you might not know about the the F6. Like, did you know that the Zoom FRC-8 will actually control it? Most people don't. Uh, when you're online, there's no literature telling you that it will. Uh, most of the sites that sell them don't tell you that it will. It will. So we're going to address that today right quick, it, and uh, we've got that done. Right off the bat, if you buy the F6 and the FRC8 controller, you might think that it's going to come with everything that you need to run it. No, you're going to need a USB-A to a USB-C cable. Because the cable that comes with this is the standard USB-A and, uh, and micro USB. It, it will not connect to this. That's no problem because I happen to have everything I need to hook it up here with me today. But if you decide to order this, be sure to get you a USB-A to a USB-C cable so you can hook it up. It's, let's start with this because this is a really cool piece of equipment. I should have gotten this a long time ago. Uh, I don't because, uh, like I said, COVID-19 shut us down, and I'm using a Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 4K. Let's bring that up right quick. Uh, that microphone is only on that camera right now in case I want to bring audio in through the camera. It actually does record really good audio. Uh, the one downfall with this camera is if you're recording, you can't, don't, do not use the mics built into the camera because while they are good mics, they pick up the fan in the camera. So, just so you know. But we'll, more on that, that camera and stuff later. Let's come back to the F6. Uh, really nice packaging for for those that are into that. It's uh, a really simple but tasteful white with black lettering. Looks real good. Sometime in the future, you'll see these boxes on a shelf behind me. Uh, my guy was supposed to be bringing shelves in to put them up, and it hasn't happened yet. I'll be glad when it does. Right off the bat, it comes with the main unit, four batteries. Y'all have to give me my fingers aren't working good, and this is packed real tight. And it comes with a mounting bracket that goes, you attach this to the field recorder. Let me get it out. I will probably not ever use this, but I'll never say never, right? And that is all that's in the box besides paperwork. There's paperwork down at the very bottom. We're not going to dig that out. I think it is a nice touch that they included for batteries. I will probably never use those batteries. Leastwise, I won't be using them in the Zoom. Because you can power this... Uh, via USB or use a Sony F-Type battery. 
uh, all my lights and other gear use the F Sony F F mount battery. I have the F nine seventy handy, and I ha also have an F five seventy. Trying to figure out where I laid it down. Oh, right here. We'll use the five seventy today. Before we mount the battery, talk about the SD card. It goes behind the Sony F mount battery. Uh, that's a really bad, kind of an inconvenient place for me. But if you're powering it over, I find it, I'm blind, y'all. There it is. If you're powering it over the USB, no big deal. Or if you use the, Battery compartment and use four triple A's, four double A's, I should say. It wouldn't be a problem. Speaking of the SD card, when you're online uh, and you're looking at the say like Sweetwater or several other places, the recommended SD card that they recommend as an accessory is a micro SD. It doesn't use a micro SD. It uses the standard SD card. I happen to have the micro SD with an adapter, so we're going to go put it in. But I only say this because if you're like me, it's it's just a hassle. All my cameras use regular SD cards. And uh, got that there. up there we go of course y'all know it's got the uh, six XLR uh, inputs line level out and I'm going to tell you right now you need to make sure that your camera will handle line level out Because if it's a mic level, you're going to have problems. That's a given. But most people don't know that, so I'm telling you. Uh, if your camera will not switch between line level and mic level on that input, then you're going to probably have to buy a, a, a special cable to uh, attenuation cable. On the other side, it has your headphone volume, headphone out, uh, time code, in and out power button your other three xlrs i wish these were combo inputs but they're not not the end of the world let's go ahead and power this off a minute set that to the side Goes up here. I wish there was an easier way for me to do this, to where y'all can see it. But you really, it's a nice, it's a tight sleeve. I'm trying to get that out out of the sleeve, and it's a nice, simple but elegant white with a uh, gunmetal gray type lettering. Real pretty, looks good. Palm padding on the inside to protect it. Let's put it up. And this comes with the controller, paperwork, a, a USB cable. That's a USB A to a USB, a standard micro USB. Comes with a stereo cable, four batteries. Like I said, the owner's manual. The batteries are in here somewhere. Where are they at? Where'd the, oh, wait. I know where they are. They're right here. We've got the batteries in it. Power it on. Just right quick to show you. Here's the uh, USB cable that it comes with. And it comes with a real nice uh, quarter inch TRC stereo cable. Power that off right quick. Let's see about hooking this up to 
F6. I have a Close, but no cigar. Where do I at? Let me get the right cable. Plug the USB A and where it says two F series. From the other end and plug it in to your USB C port right here. Now you can either run the controller or you or you can use it to read the SD card or you can use it to power the device. You cannot do all of it at the same time. Power it up. Now I could be wrong, but I think when I hit this power, it may turn that on. It did not. Maybe I have to set it up first. Let's turn it on. Come into the menu. The menu button's right here by the number one. Go down to system. Hit the check mark, which is by number three. Go to USB. Hit enter. Let's go to uh, FRC8. Click that. We're going to click OK. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that in the writing right here. That's telling me that I'm moving the fader and stuff like that. These arm the channels. As you can see, it's arming them. That's pretty cool. Now, let's hit the power button on this because I think it'll turn everything off. It didn't turn it on because it's not, you have to configure it each time, I believe. Yep, that shut it off. There you go. The FRC8 controller controlling the, the Zoom F6. If you didn't know, now you do. Uh, we do have a bag for that. Let's come back over to the camera right quick. That's Sennheiser uh, uh, MK600 that I have right there, and we have the MK416. Well, we will probably do some uh, field testing with both uh, and get audio both into the camera and this and compare them to see how they sound. Uh, this is all can also act as a DAW interface where you can record into your DAW uh, six tracks at a time, or you can use it as a uh, stereo interface, bring six in, two out into like uh, XSplit Broadcaster, XSplit uh, Gamecaster, uh, OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS. Whatever you can use it for podcasting, live streaming, and stuff like that. We may even set it up and try that sometime. Uh, but I already have a Zoom Live Track Eight right here that I use for my my live streams and stuff. So I, I can't. I don't know that I'm going to switch away from it. We do have a, a blimp coming for the uh, the shotgun mic and stuff, and it's it's probably not what you're thinking. It's, some people are probably thinking road or something. Like, no, but we'll uh, surprise y'all with that next week, and we'll get some testing done and and share the results. So, like I said, 2021's got a few, some cool things coming already. Uh, we appreciate. It. Be sure to click that like, that subscribe, that follow, that share, all that good stuff, and. Check back for the updated videos. Till then, this is Vitaly over at OG Gamer. Y'all stay safe. Happy New Year, and I'm out of here.